Have you ever wondered, as you come off the Empress roundabout in Harrogate, just there, there's a funny little junction, a very narrow junction that leads to what looks like a path or a road that leads right across the stray. An access for a house, its own little private road across the stray. Well, yes, that's exactly what it is. I will explain that and other little quirks of the Harrogate stray. Well, it's October the 2nd. Things begin to look a little bit autumnal now. I'm on the stray in Harrogate. I'm going to have a look at some of the little oddities that we've got on the stray and uh, just have a general look on this uh, sort of beautiful Sunday morning. So I suppose it begs the question, where does the stray start? Is it that little bit there that then splays out? Or does it continue down there a little bit? There's a what I would class as a, a grass verge. That's where I live, so I've always said that's a stray as well. Anyway, let's have a look at what else the stray can show us. Now you might have driven past this a million times, or well not quite a million. Look at this. So this oak tree was planted by Samson Fox, Esquire, of Grove House on, it just says, on August 1902 to commemorate his ox roasting on the stray near this spot on the years 1887 to 1902 and 1887 the Jubilee of Queen Victoria and uh, 1902 the Declaration of Peace in South Africa, so wow. I hadn't never read that before. Interesting little thing. So what is a stray? Well, a stray is a, is a Yorkshire term for an area where essentially animals are allowed to stray without tether, giving rise to the popular name for the land. Uh, there are str other strays in Yorkshire. There's one in, in York, or several in York, and uh, one in Redcar, which is, well, no, no, this particular stray in Harrogate um, emanates from what was once the, uh, uh, historically, the Forest of Knaresborough, which was a royal hunting forest, and uh, was uh, owned by John of Gaunt, as I walk past in as artily a way as I possibly can, who was Duke of Lancaster in 1369 and uh, has, has remained the property of the Crown ever since. And here's one link to the Crown, the Empress pub on Empress Roundabout, the Empress in question, of course, being Queen Victoria. So we're now around the uh, Church Square area of, of the town and uh, a little enclosure within the Strait. There's a surprising number of dwellings in their flats and houses. I imagine there's at least a couple of hundred people working, or not working, but living in that particular area. And that's where we are, just about by Christchurch. Now, this is what we've seen before, which is why I've sped it up. And this is access to a rather agreeable house called Wedderburn House. And yes, exactly that, as I, as I uh, hinted at the start of the video. The only way to get a vehicle to Wedderburn House is to drive straight across the stray and it has rights to do exactly that and as you can see we arrive at a rather splendid mansion just off the stray and the house was built by a guy called alexander wedderburn mp uh, in the 18th century he became first baron loughborough and uh, the earl of, of roslin and it was his house and uh, rather pleasant it's, it's, it's been expanded since then and uh, a little explanation as to why you have to drive across the stray. There's where the burn house is. You can see the roads just stop there. No other way of getting in. And a really strange series of cul-de-sacs just behind. No other way. Other other houses can get to their properties behind uh, from behind. And, uh, well, that's next door. Hopefully he didn't nick that. I'm sure he didn't. So moving on now to this little structure. I'm sure you've seen this. And... Uh, you won't be surprised, you know, given we're in Harrogate, that this is a site of a well. St John's well. One of the first spas in Harrogate in 1631. It was known as, I think, the Sweet Spa. And our new friend Lord Loughborough was instrumental in building it. 
So the stray is 200 acres in size. It's uh, owned, the freehold, freehold is owned by the Duchy of Lancaster, which is the property wing of, of the Crown. So effectively the King, King owns the freehold, but it is Harrogate District Council that takes day-to-day -day responsibility for maintaining it, cutting the grass, that sort of thing. And uh, if there is ever a change of use, uh, and again, an example of that would be the Tour de France. There has to be uh, a separate discussion in Parliament in order to allow that, as, as, as strange as that sounds. Other than that, usage, it tends to be things like Sunday football, uh, circus occasionally comes to town, uh, things, things like that. There's also uh, occasional shows. Um, but again, it is really heavily regulated. And I think people are really quite keen to, to, to keep it that way. There was quite an outcry a couple of years ago when a cycling uh, came to town and made a hell of a mess of West Park Strait. Certainly there was an uproar at that point, I think, well, months to get it right again. So certainly there are some very, very strict conditions on the use of the Stray. And what a wonderful area of recreation the Stray is for the whole of, the whole of Harrogate. I've already mentioned there are some, some activities like uh, football and that sort of thing, but I think most people who use the stray just have a lovely walk or a cycle across, across its lovely green acres. And uh, I remember during lockdown, it was such a lovely opportunity when we were all stuck inside, stuck indoors to get out and to have a, a walk around. And it is an area that's just changed very, very little over the years. So we're now gonna have a look at a, another little quirk as you just walk through this little alleyway and just have a little look at what we can find. So we're coming on to St Winifred's Avenue, just about, and there's a few little shops around there. There's a co-op, there's a, uh, like a brew bar. Oh, there's, there is Jay Yordsley's. Now I did put up a little uh, film about Audsley's a couple of uh, months ago when I was doing best pork pie in Harrogate. Clearly it's closed today, it's Sunday. But uh, I walked past that bit of the stray for years and years, not realizing that there was a, a really top quality butcher just through the fence. If you walk this way, there's the co-op I was talking about. And then there's Orsley's there. And then there's a, I think there's like a coffee place. And then the usual bunch of hairdressers and that sort of thing, I think. Yes, hairdressers there. It'll go up. I think I'm going to go in and get myself a little drink. Hospital down there. Wayside's going. Cool. And we're going to walk down uh, St. Winifred's Avenue now. Uh, back to or walking towards the hospital. Let's have a look behind us. That's where we've come from, and we're about to about to join um, Weatherby Road, just near the hospital. Until recently, that was an area I didn't really know existed, didn't know anything about. That's where we are at the moment, and walking back now towards the stray, we will will see. Now this is a bus route now. You'll see uh, that that's the I think when the number seven bus stops to go to um, to go to Weatherby and uh, and I think Leeds eventually. Very high bus timetable there. So we're going to walk the, the hospital grounds there on our right hand side. And we're going to look at one other thing here, which is on the right hand side. You see a little cross in just a moment. That's where we've just been. Uh, Weatherburn House, etc., just up there. But a little cross over there, and that was actually donated by. Um, a Russian connection, Grand Duchess George of Russia, who um, visited Harrogate during the First World War and um, started some convalescent homes. That's the North Yorkshire Police Fire and Crime Commissioner. They've got their offices just uh, just before the Granby, which is where we are now. And we're now getting much closer to, to High Harrogate as we continue our trip around the Stray. So this is the Granby. Now the Granby is a care home these days, but there was a time when it was a, a rather posh hotel. There's a brown plaque somewhere, I think. But it was seen as being the place to stay in Harrogate back in its day. I won't go too far in. Don't wanna 
spook people pointing a, pro, a GoPro, but uh, there we go. I can imagine that in its day being a very place, a very nice place to uh, to stay overlooking the stray. There go. There's plenty of these on the stray, isn't there? Brown uh, brown plaques established in the late 17th century as the sinking ship, and known in 1736 as the Royal Oak when Blind Jack of Nesborough played his fiddle here. The present name was adopted in 1795 in honour of the Marquis of Granbury, who won fame in the Seven Years' War. In the 18th uh, century and early 19th centuries, only the aristocracy stayed here. Lesser visitors to High Harrogate being accommodated at the Dragon Hotel, now demolished quite rightly too, by the sounds of it, or the Queen Hotel. Well, we're in a little bit of wooded area now between uh, where Weatherby Road intersects the strait and where Nairsborough Road does the same. Uh, so you can hear me hopefully without any traffic noise. So a very nice little walk around the stray this morning. Maybe I'll do a habit of having little walks around the place, seeing some of the interesting things we can find. Sometimes the things that we just overlook and drive past without knowing what we're doing. Um, as the nice man is about to tell you, please, if this video is of any use, please consider subscribing to this channel. Please hit that like button. Please comment. Let me know exactly what you think. Is this the kind of content you would like to see more of? And as ever, thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please consider subscribing to this channel. Also, I'd be very grateful if you could like this video and hit that notification bell. If you do that, you'll continue to receive lots more rubbish just like this.